Hi guys, welcome back to my video. And today we're going to talk about my green beans, my long green beans right here. ខ្ញុំអ្នកខ្ញុំចង់និយាយពីរឿងសដៃគួខ្ញុំខ្ញុំដើមកាលពីខែខែ the weather is changing. We are in mid-October, so the leaves are not doing very good right now. They're just sad looking because of the uh, mildew and also the temperature in the, in the at nighttime. It gets so cold. Yeah, it's not overwhelmingly cold. We're usually getting in like the low 70s or so during the day and dropping down into like the upper 50s, low 60s during night. So the, the plants are struggling, but they're giving it their all. And as long as they continue to, to produce, we'll continue to let them be and do their things. They're still producing flowers over here that, that's open. That's how it looks like. Gorgeous, isn't it? But uh, you could tell I have different sizes of the beans. This is what's called a long string bean. Uh, sometimes it's also called a yard long bean or snake bean or sometimes even a Chinese long bean. And so, um, you know, you'll, you'll hear people say, oh, these are long green beans. Well, they're not technically green beans. They are their own species. And so they are themselves, like I said, long string beans yard long beans, snake beans, or Chinese beans. So if you're interested in trying them, long. then, you know, if you do a search for seeds for those types of seeds, then you should be able to find them really with no problem. Yeah, they taste a little bit uh, similar to green beans, basically. You can eat them raw or cook. See, it's long. This is the reason why they call it long green beans or snake beans, because it's yeah. long veins, like going here. Um, yeah. yeah Taste-wise, the, they do, they, they have a similar flavor to just your standard green bean. Uh, but they are considered to be a lot more tender than a string uh, than a green bean, and a lot of people will say that they have a better taste, and so they'll prefer these ones, and they'll just you know cut them down to size for their dinner or whatever it is that they're making. They're commonly used in uh, things dishes like stir fry or you know any you other dish that you would use dip. with yeah. with green beans. You know you can just substitute these and have a little bit of a uh, you know more tender, a little bit sweeter. Uh, product and so like if you make a green bean casserole you can substitute that or if you made stir fry you could use these yeah. so it's just entirely up to you this is great for like you can make uh, salad bean salad here perfect for a lot of a lot of stuff my young most Cambodian people I I grew up eating these long green beans we call it sadaiku and i love them in the krung nyam chu chet nyam chmuay ta krung mente na i like them raw as well nyam chmuay ta krung chao hay nang nom bichok with the uh, noodles called nom bichok homemade noodles no khong nom bichok they are delicious so i grew up eating this i'm sorry you guys um we are <laughs> like we're on mid october right now so the the plants is struggling and uh, you could tell they don't have spots if they are healthy i should have done this like maybe Three weeks ago, when the weather is still good, but alone, mau bi vietje ai bang pon chap dam dop sat ena bang pon mau bi thiet ca no pe yup the chap pe ya hay mien ap chra ena. So that's why you see these are not doing so good because they are not in their prime. Alone, so dai kiam ato lo pa man te chap dam dop sat hay. So all the mildews and the mold, so the beans are struggling and they're starting to basically. Um, Color is just not not very good or even healthy to eat anymore. I'm not gonna pick these. I'm gonna try to let them be, and so I can save the seeds for next year. This one right here, it's unedible because it's old, and I'm just saving it. Let it go to seed so I can harvest the seeds for next year. And when really we are a, a large proponent about allowing a, a couple of fruit to go to seed just so that way you can then use those seeds after buying the initial package. You plant it, let them go to seed, and then you can use a couple of fruits to perpetuate for the following season and then just do it over and over and over again. 
you know, of course, some people do plant cloning or whatever, but if you grow from seed, the plant will typically be, it's new genetic code. The plant's going to have a much easier time growing and thriving. So we always recommend take some of the, the bigger beans. So like with this one here, as you can see, it's this is one of the, the bigger ones. We're going to allow that to grow to seed because the likelihood is that the plants that grow from the seeds are going to produce fruits that are large like this. And that's what we want. But you can see they're struggling and, and it's Look at this one. simply the, the weather between the combination see? between the, the temperature changes and then you got these types of beetles in here and whatnot. And, you know, these guys are, you yeah, know, pests. wreaking havoc and, you know, I mean, just the normal stuff that the plants are struggling. But, you know, they're continuing to produce. We got new leaves, new growth, new flowers. And as long as they produce, we'll continue to let them do their thing until they've all died off and this turned is... brown. And at that point, we'll take them off the, the fence to prepare for a uh, you know wintertime crop that might need the fence for a lattice work if we find one otherwise we'll have it prepped and ready for the beans next year if you notice uh, these right here they don't get as long anymore they're not yard anymore they're more like inches now but these are they produce so much beans they have so much like this right here and as you could tell like I have I have beans all along this fence right here like they grow all along like both sides it's like if you are like you have a small family it's way too much beans for you to harvest it's it just they grow they give so much can't fruit you can't eat them fast enough but I mean if you have a large family it's perfect but the sad part about the sad part about these beans right here last year i was trying to like preserve them i tried to like basically blanch it and put it in the freezer it does not turn out good at all look at this it's so, so long last year um i harvest a lot and i i blanch them and then i and then i preserve them into the freezer for future use in the winter time they did not turn out right at all they taste funky they 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 smell bad they smell spoil it's just this is the type that you can't you can't save for winter time at all i mean it's it's not it's not delicious or, or at all if, there, if you can at least we haven't figured out a way to do it yet yeah i like i said it's not it's not perfect it's not good i i i will not preserve this for for winter food just because it's not delicious maybe the bean part maybe i could just take the beans out and then and then dry the beans and then maybe cook them for later on but just to just to blanch this whole beans right here and then cut into pieces and then preserve it in a ziploc bag or anything like that it's not delicious it's not like the green beans in like you find in the grocery store where you where you um, buy it and put it in stir fried and you don't smell anything it just still tastes good these ones give like bad smell so ani khiem chnam mon khiem da khlas se khiem yo ve kat kong kong hay khiem sro hay tau khiem da nong khlas se tau ko ot chngai nyep bang pon thum khmu hay nyam ak ka so nyam ak ka thum huong ba doi ot ka de so so this one i'm just going to let it go to see the way it's way too much i can't eat them fast enough but yeah and the neighbor the neighbors my neighbors are not they don't really care for it but yeah so Look at bump on nung vein long. That's why they call it snake beans. This is long vein maintain. This is still good. Money no la See, that's how they look inside. Do you it? You can eat it raw. I like it raw. Mm. This is just one area. I have some more on the other side of the house as well. Yum dumpy bake line bump on. Yum yum at ah. Yum ah. Sometimes you can just come out, pick it. Pick it and then just snack on it. Yum lane, die yum lane though. Bad da lane though. Mmm. Can't be then. So delicious. But yeah, I think I only have maybe a couple more weeks and then these beans are gonna have to go bye bye. Okay, I'll continue my on. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye. Listen, hi.